Welcome to Aggregate, an open source Python package for solving actuarial problems with aggregate probability distributions. This session will tell you a little bit about why I developed the software in the first place and what you can use it for. This is the third generation of this type of software that I've built. I started in the late 1990s building a package in MATLAB. And then in the early 2000s, I built a package in C++ uh, that I'd actually been using ever since, largely from Excel and, and VBA. But it was 32-bit and it was getting kind of long in the tooth. Uh, and around 2016, I started to learn Python and I moved to a university to do research. And so I thought it was time to refresh that tool. Uh, my aims are to make working with realistic aggregate uh, distributions as easy as working with the log normal. So I wanted all the built-in um, probability functions, PDF, CDF, survival function. And I also wanted a range of actuarial functions built in, things like tell value at risk. And then I wanted to be able to combine these aggregates into portfolios and apply pricing techniques and so forth. So really, it was a tool for research uh, to be able to test theories uh, and maybe develop some uh, new theories along the way. Uh, I had to use uh, the fast Fourier transform method to get the accuracy um, that I was looking for. I simply can't see the types of details that you want to see uh, using uh, simulation. So applications, what can you use it for? Well, uh, pricing insurance and reinsurance. So there's a lot of um, tools built in to allow you to apply different types of reinsurance structures on an occurrence basis and an aggregate basis and then a large number of different pricing techniques uh, built in uh, as described in uh, my book with John Major, Pricing Insurance Risk. It can be applied to risk management, particularly catastrophe risk management, computing PMLs, uh, occurrence and aggregate, uh, exceeding probability points and so forth. It uh, can be used as uh, part of strategy and strategic planning, uh, balancing the different riskinesses of, of different lines of business across different uh, cost of capital uh, allocation uh, methodologies. And it's largely keyed around using spectral risk measures, again, uh, as described in my book. And then for the book, uh, we wanted to, John and I wanted to have a large number of examples in the book and some realistic case studies. And all of the exhibits in the book were created using uh, the aggregate software. In fact, if you download it uh, and install it on your own machine, you can reproduce all of those uh, case study exhibits. And I'll explain in a later video how to do that. So talking of, of downloading and, and help, there is a very extensive help document online on uh, Read the Docs. The URL is shown there. Um, it's got six main parts. There's a, there's a getting started and there's a, there's a number of guides to users. So there's a student guide and an actuary guide. There's uh, some detailed ex examples for reinsurance actuaries, large account actuaries uh, and so forth. Um, and then there's also a couple of sections where I reproduce um, exhibits and answer questions from books with uh, published answers. So this is part of the sort of quality assurance of the software, uh, making sure that it's giving answers that tie back to publish public papers. And then uh, the source code is available on GitHub. This is all free. You can clone the repo and, and have at it. Uh, if you can do pull requests if you uh, can suggest some improvements. I'd love to love to have other people involved in the uh, development so you can see the source code. And in terms of installation, just a simple pip install, pip install aggregate will install this and uh, all the dependencies. So there's going to be a series of videos covering different aspects of the software from here on in. They're available in the uh, links uh, shown uh, around in the other uh, videos here. And uh, I hope that you will find uh, this software uh, useful in your day-to-day uh, -day work. Thank you.